What's going on everybody? Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the tool called Nmap. We'll discuss what it is, how to install it, some basic scans, we'll find some advanced scans and some switches that you can use, and then we're going to conclude with how you can output the scans to a file. First off, what is Nmap? Nmap is short for Network Mapper. It's an open source tool that is used for network discovery and security auditing. It can help you discover hosts and services on a computer network by sending packets and analyzing the responses. So first we need the tool itself. So we're gonna go into installation. If you're following straight from our how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox video, Nmap comes pre-installed on Kali for you. So you're good to go. If you're using another form of Linux, you can install it with the following commands. For Debian and Ubuntu, you'll run sudo apt install nmap. For rel, you're gonna do sudo yum install nmap. For windows, you're gonna go download a Linux distro and then see above, just kidding. You can download a Windows installer from nmap.org. All right, now that we have nmap installed, let's perform a discovery scan, which is also known as a ping scan. This is used to find hosts on the network and we've actually added a vulnerable machine to our practice range. We don't know the IP because DHCP is out, so we actually have to find it with this discovery scan. So we're gonna go ahead and run nmap, tac sn, and then we're gonna put the IP range and a slash 24, which means the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Great. Now that we have a list of hosts to test with, we can do a basic scan. We're gonna open our terminal and type nmap and then put your target IP. This command will scan the target IP for open ports and services. As you can see, Nmap provides back a list of open ports, along with a brief idea of what it thinks is running on those ports. This is super useful for identifying potential vulnerabilities. There are a lot of switches that come with Nmap. It can be quite daunting when you first see the man page, but I'm put together a list for you that are some of the most important flags that I have used on Capture the Flag events and just some other penetration test scenarios whenever I'm going through Hack the Box or Try Hack Me, things like that. So these flags that I'm showing, I'm gonna break down one at a time. TAC uppercase P, lowercase N, that'll disable host discovery and you're just doing a port scan. TAC N is you're not gonna do DNS resolution, so you just put the IP in there and it's not gonna to try to decipher what the host name of that box is. TAC lowercase P, you're trying to find a specific port, so you would do a TAC P and then the port number. A TAC P TAC is going to do an all port scan. It's going to scan all 65 plus thousand ports that are on the box and available. You can do tac tac top tac ports and then put in a number and then it'll do the most common ports whether it's a hundred a thousand or ten thousand and actually try to scan those and try to see if anything comes back and then go a little deeper and once you get a basic scan back you can run a tac lowercase s uppercase v and that's actually going to try to do a version detection on those ports and try to find a specific version if it can pull it to show it to you and see if anything's vulnerable TAC uppercase O is going to try to do a remote operating system detection. It's going to use TCP IP stack fingerprinting in order to try to find this information out. And then it's going to try to give its best guess of what it thinks the operating system is. It is not always correct. TAC lowercase s uppercase T is a TCP connect port scan. TAC lowercase s uppercase U is going to be a UDP port scan. Nmap has a TAC uppercase A switch that will do an aggressive scan with detailed information, including the OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and trace route. This is extremely aggressive, and it's pretty much combining the TAC O, the TAC SV, and doing those scripts. If you're trying to be a little stealthy, there's a thing called a stealth scan, which is lowercase s, uppercase s, and then if you have a whole list of IPs that you want to scan, you don't have to put them in and do one scan at a time. You can put them in a text file, and then you can use that list using TAC lowercase i uppercase L and then that name of that file. There's also a thread setting that you can set and that's gonna say how fast and aggressive your scan will be. It goes from T0 to T5, T0 being paranoid, which is IDS evasion. It's gonna to try to, it's not gonna look as suspicious. T1 is a sneaky, which is also IDS evasion. T2 is polite and that slows down the scan to use less bandwidth and use less target machine resources. T3 is normal or the default, so if you don't even specify a tap uppercase T, then it'll just run a T3. T4 is aggressive, and it's assuming you're on a fast network. T5 is actually insane, and it assumes you're on an extraordinarily fast network. I don't use T5. I typically stick with a T3 or T4. 
I've went ahead and put together some examples for you just to show you what they would look like when you're putting them into your terminal. Uh, put most of what we talked about here today. Uh, I got a discovery scan, basic scan, TCP scan, service, aggressive. And then the last one is how to output those results to a file, which we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, I've also found a really good cheat sheet that you can use that is at HTTPS stationx.net slash nmap cheat sheet. This is actually really in depth and something I've used in the past. And it's just a good thing to have, just a good resource to put in your arsenal. There's a thing called NSE scripts. These were hinted at with the attack uppercase A switch. If you find something interesting and believe that it could be potentially vulnerable, you can run a specific NSC script against the target to see if it is in fact vulnerable. All of the scripts can be found at user share and map scripts. There is a lot of them, so I'm not going to go into all of them, but say you're trying to find a specific CVE, then you can actually find that CVE here, see if it has it, and if it is there, then you can run that specific script against that specific IP that had that open. If you believe it is, it'll come back and tell you whether it's vulnerable or it's not. It's also extremely important to save your scan results for later analysis. This is going to save you a ton of time on a capture the flag event, so you don't have to continuously keep rerunning these nmap scans. So you can actually do this by using the TAC lowercase o, uppercase a option. For example, TAC lowercase o, uppercase a, and then put it in a scan results.txt, and then you put the target IP. This will save the scan in three different formats. It'll be a .gn map, a .n map, and a .xml. And there you have it. A quick introduction to Nmap, some of its wonderful features. Nmap is an essential tool for network administrators and security professionals alike. If you found this video helpful, give me a like, don't forget to subscribe, and then we'll be doing some more tutorials and tips at your recommendation if you want them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.